Kia ora tātou e te iwi. Nau mai, haere mai ki te pauaka, whakata, hākinakina i te pō nei. Nō reira, nau mai ki te wiki o te reo Māori. Ko Stacey Waka, tōku ingoa, nō rua toki ahau. So, as we know, it's Māori Language Week this week. My name's Stacey Waka and I'm representing the wahine tonight here on the couch. Oh, yeah. Without further ado, let's kick it off. Yeah. Ko tēnei te wiki o te reo Māori, me te reo o Whutuporo. Ko tai mai te kapa o pango, ki hape ne me Kirsty san hoki. Halfway through the Māori 10 Cup and we talk who's hot, who's not and why are Tasman so stacked. We hear from inside the camp. The Whara Palmer Cup kicks it up a gear and, as always, surprises, dad jokes and some questionable chat. Let's kick it off. Oh, kia ora whanau. welcome to the kickoff to Wiki o Te Reo Māori Language Week. How good, and how good was that, the start from the old mate? Yep. Oh, Stacey, well. that was... Bringing the house down, girl, with your Māori language, that was awesome. That was, awesome. Mate. That was bloody good. But some, some others guys that have been bringing the house down with their Māori language, there's a group of Japanese over in Kawashi, of all places, they sang the national anthem in Japanese and did a haka. We've got a little bit of vision of it here. It was bloody fantastic. <laughs> I think the anthem needs a little bit of work, fellas, but the, um, the huckle was pretty impressive. But, Stacey, great to have you on the couch, love. And uh, I understand that uh, a few of your teammates um, are up for a pretty huge award this year in, in the uh, Sevens Women's Player of the Year. And All three of them. So, Nomin yeah, yeah, dominated. Three of them. Yeah. Blackouts. Ruby. Yeah. Oh, oh, Blackouts. Who have we got? Nice. Who have we got? got Ruby Tui. We've got Sarah, Sarah Goss. Yep. Tyler. And we also have... Tyler Nathan Wall. Yeah, nice. yeah. And I don't know if you know, but um, there's someone that's pretty special to this show that's mm -hmm. actually on the um, the judging panel. And it's not Israel Dagg and it's not Bryn Holden. <laughs> and it certainly ain't me. Oh, it's hey, the old hey, man, hey, hey. Oh, oh, What happened? We've got three years in. Oops. Oops. Yeah. Hey, you know, you know yeah, hey, it's all about professionalism. Lads, one day you'll grow up and be yeah. professional too. <laughs> now, Stacey, wow. Why How do you get on that board, Bolt? Stacey goes pretty good herself. How did she get a nomination? Well, she's stopped tackling around the head. Stop having an operation. She'll be there. Now, yeah, someone that obviously thinks that... Well, a friend of the show now um, that thinks he sort of taught you everything you, you've learnt, mm. um, Stacey, and that's your brother, Bowden Walker. <laughs> and he, he actually sent us a message, a special Did? message oh, for tonight's yeah. show. Oh, Ooh, How are you, big fella? Go. <laughs> <laughs> Kia ora, Bowden Walker here. Uh, Stacey Walker's uh, favourite sibling. Just doing this little short video um, to enlighten you what me and my little sister get up to, um, especially when we're travelling, <laughs> whether it's going back to see family or whatnot. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy these videos and uh, I know she's going to be sending me a lot of messages later on um, threatening me, but hey, this is all for you. <laughs> You're it. singing that to someone, eh, into the phone? Who was that to? Oh, you know. Is that Ricky? You know. Yeah. Ricky. Yeah. 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 What a big Ricky. fan of the show. I love you. Hey. Hey. Ricky. All right, hey. enough about Ricky and your love life. <laughs> We've got serious stuff now, and that is your weekend of footy. Oh. And how exciting, guys, that um, your weekend of footy is also going to be on Sky Sport with an alternative commentary of TNL. Yep. Uh, first up is Titai Tokoro versus Waitaha. Uh, Bryn, you got the next game, mate. Uh, Taranaki versus Te Moana A Poi. Over to you, Stace. It's Muri Hiku versus Manawatu. On the Saturday evening, Dagger, what do you got for me? We've got Manako versus Tamaki Makoto. 
Uh, and you, KT, the last two, brother. Te Whanganui Atara versus O Tākou, and then Te Tai O Aurere versus Taraki Pai Whenua. Kia ora, Koru. That's the big matchup of the week for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get up the harbour. We digress. We're on our first game, and that is, that is the Northern Boys versus yes. Canterbury. Mm, yes. And we can't wait for this one. And two exciting guys oh, yeah. coming out of that. Chuck them on, KT. <laughs> Sorry, got an armour up. On. Got an armour up. A couple of Landers boys close to my heart, and that is Josh McKay and Scott Gregory, these two have been lighting up the Mitre 10 Cup so far, Deggie. What have you liked about Scott Gregory's performances so far? Well, apart from his luscious locks, <laughs> he's, uh, I just love him with ball in hand. He's, he's always exciting. He creates something out of nothing. He's electric. Um, he always demands the ball, scores tries. You know, you need the outside back to score tries. And then this guy, Josh Mackay, absolutely rapid off the mark. I think he's still got the record in, in Christchurch for over 10 metres, mm. I think it's 1.48 or something it's ridiculous like that. But he's just, I don't know, gaining confidence week in, week out, getting more game time, and I think all the game time for both of these lads, obviously Lander boys, mm. they're going to go back down to Landers and get a lot well, look at these stats, these and what I'm impressed with is Josh McCoy obviously vying for that empty Landers jersey at 15, and his metres, uh, Brent, mm. you've got to be happy with that if he's going to be vying for that 15 jersey down south. Absolutely, I think obviously with um, George Bridge not being here this year, we've been in the All Blacks and having an opportunity to play. Um, it's been an awesome opportunity for him. So um, I know Scott Gregg as well has been playing well, and the fact that he actually has a, a fan page as well, I believe. Oh yeah, <laughs> the fan um, checking it out there. Oh, he's, got tiny, he's got a tiny fast <laughs> fan page. And, um, I look at it quite frequently. So good luck to him. <laughs> well, he loves an oyster too. And uh, I'm going for, for the uh, for the mighty tunny far, Jack Debrasini, KT. Well, mm. you're you're tunny far hard. <laughs> I love this guy. He got a bit of razzle dazzle, the offload mm. king for the uh, Northland tunny far this year. Yeah, I think the thing with him, when he's because he's such a big unit, you know. He, he, he takes it to the line, he can offload, get those uh, levers free, but he's also a great kicker of the ball. He plays mm. tanking, shift the fullback. So when you've got a guy who's very adept at kicking ooh, both off the ooh. tee and general play, then you know it's always good to have. Yeah, he's going pretty well. Another Needs to pass it a bit wider, M2 to the number 14. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Game plan. Stacey, you've got a great leader in your New Zealand 7 team in Sarah Goss. Just recently got her um, Medal of Honour yes. in New Zealand Order yeah. of Merit. But mm. another guy that's leading that Canterbury side so well and has for many years, probably, well, he's definitely won more titles at, uh, in NBC than Daggy. <laughs> but, um, one, but and that's thanks. Luke Whitelock, and I think he's producing the goods in terms of his leadership for that Canterbury team. Had a bit of a thumbly start to their season, but they're coming right at the right time of the year. He is. I think a lot of success comes from a good leader on and off the field. Um, you can lead with your words and your actions, and he obviously shows that um, on both occasions. Um, he's questioning the ref now, which is also important, you know, as a good captain, a good leader, you want to show that you know the game. <laughs> Yeah, this one, you know, you have to question the ref. Question, you know, arguing. Yeah, yeah. Arguing. cheeky. A lot, of, a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of arguing from me. Halfback, so. Last but not least, we can't forget, and we've got to give a shout out to the old quarter. Your son, mate, yes, he yeah. is yeah. going to be running on the wing for the mighty Tani Father this weekend. Mm. Renata to Roberts to Nana. How's this kid going to go, mate? Is he a little bit better defensively than you were, I hope? Oh, there he is. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's made more tackles than my whole career. <laughs> spot, you know, so, no, I don't, I don't want to put too much pressure on the young fella, but I mean, all I will say is the sequel's never as good as the original. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and you know what? Who did he score around there in All Black, you know? So he's not doing too bad. He enjoy, is he enjoying that Northland culture up there, though, bro? Like, uh, everyone that goes up there seems to absolutely love it, eh? <laughs> yeah, no, he loves it. He loves it. You know, his family's there, his wife's there, so he's really involved in it, you know, and he's following his Koro is my dad played for them, so mm. it's really cool for him to follow in his footsteps. So, no, it's me. And he yeah. doesn't need his gears on coming up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Well, someone that's usually in this seat, in the hot seat, uh, is our good friend, Kirsty Stanaway. <laughs> She's over in Japan at the moment, just having the best junket of all time. So <laughs> she caught up with us earlier in the week, and we'll see what she got up to, eh? Hi, kickoff crew. I have made it. I survived being on the very back of the plane. I know you guys wouldn't know exactly what that feels like, but I've made it to Tokyo for the Rugby World Cup. There's been a lot of talk about the typhoon, but it's all about the soaring temperatures over here. Don't listen to any of the other medias. We're the only ones here, so we're going to give you a wee insight into what it's like. But first, I'm going to get you guys some souvenirs and send them to you. We've found a shop. Don Quixote's. Let's go. Does it make a noise? It does. Cute, fluffy. Oh, come with me. We've got a koro on the show. So, KT. Oh, that's for you, Stacey. I'll just make sure to do the head check. Quite cool. Not bad. Nice, comfy pillow. Israel Dag. 
this is for you now that you've got here. And we know how much you like looking at yourself in the mirror. Found it, these are for you, Bryn. Fishy. If they fit me, they fit you. I think we've found the perfect gift. You've probably used one of these before though, Joey. You've probably got one at home, but we'll send you another one. Well, I think we've got everything. We've got Joey, we've got Izzy, Stacy, Katie and Bryn. Yeah, yeah, let's go pay up. Okay, I've done the mahi. I've got the treats. Expect these in the mail. <laughs> wow, oh, she looks wow. busy, eh? Yeah. Very. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Some of her best work right there. <laughs> are, are you happy with yours? Oh, look, man, that's just my standard attire, so... <laughs> <laughs> nice little G-Bing. But fishy there, like Brenna. But, hey, look, we, we, we've got some pictures that she doesn't know that we've managed to get a hold of. Due to her being with Sky now, it's one of the <laughs> prerequisites. <laughs> <laughs> this is her actually travelling over in, um, in what she thought was business class, but she got economy. And then... Does she know what they are? Is what a gay shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, yeah, we, we might have to fill her in. It's not actually a fa flattering thing to be a geisha, but oh. yeah, well done, Kirsten. You keep working hard. <laughs> there, mate. Jeez. All right, we're going to move on to our next game, and that is Taranaki versus Bayer Plenty. And someone that's been going really well for them this year, lads, is their number eight for Taranaki, Peter Sawakula. Mm. This guy, Dagger, mm. well, he's big. Fast, powerful, <laughs> everything that I wasn't. And, well, you probably weren't either, mate. He has been going. I don't know what you're on about, about, mate. Like, Go on YouTube, fella, type right? Lizzie Dare. You'll feed, find some chat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, nah, he's great. He's great. He's had outstanding. He's come from the Chiefs, got some great exposure, playing some top 40. But this guy's just—he's a freak. They're all freaks. The Fijians, eh? Just so quick. Run with the one hand, you know, the ball in one hand, and just breaks tackles, scores tries. That's what you want from him. That guy off the back of the scrum, Bryn. Like he'd be so hard to stop. Look at the look at the bucket on him. Like the, the hips and thighs, you just wouldn't even want to go low. Would you just be a speed oh, bump, mate? Look, I won't lie, mate. I'm glad that we're not playing tough and lucky this year. So, um, yeah, his form has been outstanding. And I think having a number eight, having the ability to play off the back of the scrum, it just poses look so that, many mate. problems. 22 defenders beat him for a number <laughs> yeah, eight. That's he, not bad. I tell you what, mate. <laughs> 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 Okay. Be, I'll be one of those defenders as well, mate, so thankfully we're not playing. Oh, well, another flying Fijian that we all love, I love, and that is my boy. <laughs> we oh, Well, KT, he has been on fire for the Taranaki side. He hasn't been scoring too many, but sleeting, setting up plenty for this side. Yeah, especially, good, the, eh? especially on the returns too. You know, we saw him like last week against Otago, his old stomping ground there. But, I mean, he's a guy, you know, his last time around the, the traps in, in, in uh, Mighty 10 Cup, so he wanted to put out some good performance for his province. And yeah. um, this year, you know, last year there was a bit of a blip in the radar, but I think him being there this year, sitting it out wide, I think uh, made a huge difference mm. for him. Oh, what a danger weapon to have on your wing, eh? Mm. I'll tell you one man that you'll be loving, Stacey, for your bop. Now, you're a bop girl, aren't you? Yes, you Bay are. Heart. Bay are plenty. Bay hard. But Waikato, I play Waikato. Oh, you play oh. Waikato? Oh, whoa, whoa, we so can't. Bay are hard, hard, but I play Waikato. Okay, okay. 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 Oh. We'll leave you that. But the, the man <laughs> that, that pretty wears his that heart on his sleeve <laughs> that you've got to love is uh, Rugged As, great locks. Uh, a little bit of uh, Josh Cromfeld about him, and that's uh, Mitch Carpick. We've got a little bit of the best uh, cheater in the game. You reckon the best oh, cheater in the game? The game. <laughs> it pretty absolutely good. killed us. Sorry. You've got to have a guy like this in your team, don't you, Stacey? A yeah. guy that just wears his heart on his sleeve, does, rolls his sleeves up, does all the hard work, throws his mixer in the wrong places. It's great stuff. It's just everywhere on the field, and that's what you want as a number seven. He reminds me of my own captain, Sarah Goss. Ooh. Love you, sis. Ooh, you is. know, he's awesome. Um, we actually train with him in the mount, so mm. he even goes hard in the gym. Does he? Just yeah. on the field. Pretty strong. Pretty strong. Good body? You got a good body? Is it good, 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 good set up or? Mm -hmm. It's all right, Ricky. Mm -hmm. hey, no, Ricky, oh, Ricky, oh, Ricky's a big fan of the show. Big Ricky will be watching us, mate. He's a big fan of the show. Oh, I, think, I think he's got a hell of a body. Oh, I'm going to say, copy. she is blushing. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the next guy we're going to focus on in the box squad, and that is Dan Hollinshead. Now, this mm. kid, uh, I think he spent a bit of time over in Japan. He's come back. Um, Izzy, you must be impressed with his performance. He's showing a little bit of sort of Mike Delaney-esque. Um, yeah. You can see a little bit of that rubbing off. We have to talk Mike Delaney up. He watches <laughs> the show and, you know, Koro, he loves it. We rung him the other day, he was eating the ramen, so he's, he's blowing out a wee bit. <laughs> but um, he'll be working hard with Dan here. He's probably, you know, he's a solid goal kicker, kicks his goals when he needs to, runs the ball. when He's, He started out playing 10, now he's moved out to 12, so he's very, he's a utility kind of player and that's what you need in, in the side. You've been, um, had a bit to do with uh, Mike down in, yes. in, down, in um, down in the Crusaders. Yep. What sort of influence would he have on Dan Hollinshead's game? I think just a 10 in general at that level, you can't buy it. So I think he's been to Japan a bit and he's been obviously starting when he was young, but 
to have that kind of calibre where you can just have a conversation around them. You know, what do I need to do here? What does this yeah. look like on the field? And you can't buy that experience. And for someone that's a 10 or 12 who's played in, as an All Black, you can't buy that. Yeah, nice. Well, the next game we're going to um, shoot off to is the Tasman v Harbour. Yeah. <laughs> Before we go to that, we're going to go to two blokes that are on the Skype down in beautiful Metropolis. Ooh, and hey. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Really well. It's the skip, Davy Harvilli, and his vice skip, Quinton Strange. Well, lads, uh, Joey Wheeler and the kickoff team here, fellas. I just saw you today down in Nelson, and you were sunning it up, about 20 degrees down there. And on your deck, you can sort of um, just nude up and get a good tan. <laughs> Is that what you got up to on your day off today, fellas? Well, uh, it was Daggy definitely nude down on the balcony, but um, <laughs> we just keep it quiet up there. So we had a pretty good view today, but that one picked up. But no, it's been good today. Right, uh, Davy. in terms of the preparation for this week, um, we know the North Harbour uh, side's coached by an old Tassie coach and Kieran Kane. Are you, how, how's the Tasman team preparing for this one, mate? Is it going to be a massive shift from the boys to keep that unbeaten run going? Yeah, look, the Harbour are going to be coming down with a point to prove, and I know that KK would have had it on the calendar for a while now, so it's going to be a, a good challenge, and it's something that we're going to look, look forward to this week. But saying that, hopefully the weather plays its part, and it's, you know, good running... Hey boys, Izzy Dag here. How are ya? <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, keep, we'll, keep, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Yeah, we'll keep PC. Who's mum? Who's dad? Tell me. <laughs> you know. You're talking. I don't want to do this. So that's the way it works for me. Who's the big spoon? Who's the small spoon? Big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bigger. He, he spits in my ass better. So. <laughs> just though. Uh, well, all just I want to know is, is that a tax that you got on? <laughs> Did you not get it, bruv? <laughs> <laughs> uh, g'day, lads. Bryn here. Hey, um, Spiker, Quinny, mate. Just um, obviously you're a single man, yes? <laughs> yeah, mate, yeah. Yep, just talk me through. You Obviously, you're, you're on Tinder quite a lot and Bumble and the old social media um, places. How's that going? Have you clocked out yet? Oh, what's Bumble, Brad? I don't know what Bumble just told me in, mate. That's actually all you talked about uh, during the Crusader <laughs> season, so I'm just curious. <laughs> just curious. Nah, nah. None of that, mate. Um, nah, just chipping away, you know me. Chipping away, good on you, mate. Proud of you. Come a long way. Hey, boys. Stacey Walker here. Um, so me and the boys here, we've been um, stalking someone's uh, Instagram tonight. Yep. Oh. David, you've brought back the mully, but you're not the first. Are you, are you copying Jack Goodhue's footsteps here? What, what's going on there? <laughs> yeah, well, it was actually, it was the, the copy Jackie and it was try to start the mullet movement again, but um, we tried to have Richie Mongo on board, but um, well, so got, got his cut off, so um, we thought we'd run up to his wedding, so um, it's here for the rest of the year. Keep it on, keep it on. <laughs> now, now, boys, obviously, I've already spoke to you about the salary cap. Well, that's another story. But anyway, <laughs> this weekend, you're excited for, for the game on Sunday against, obviously, playing against Bryn and, and you know, excited to be at home on, on your home patch against the Harbour boys. It's been a good week. Yeah, mate. Yeah, it's been a good week um, so far. Uh, yeah, we're, we're excited for the challenge that, um, you know, Brynner and Kate are going to bring down. And, um, no, it should be good. First, first game on... Park this year, so the lads are excited and hopefully the sun's shining. Now, lads, you guys have the flashiest pad in Nelson, the flashiest <laughs> flat out of everyone in the whole of Tassie, uh, Marcos. I came out there the other day and you told me that you had a uh, wee flat inspection sort of um, off the cuff that you weren't too happy about. Now, I understand you failed that um, <laughs> that flat inspection because of some um, unruly things in the in the uh, in the toilet, some skid marks. Um, now, who's the guilty party out of both you? <laughs> Look, I'm sort of following. Firstly, like we, you know, we're not we're not actually uh, uh, dirty, dirty people, so we just want <laughs> to send it maybe an email instead of. Uh, <laughs> Sending a letter in the mail, we sort of, we sort of had to check the letterbox as we moved yeah, out, so um, it's probably good to send us an email. But no, nah, it's yeah, we did actually fail that, but um, we did have to All right, yeah. fellas. Well, all the best for this weekend, and hopefully you get the jo job done against this idiot, and, uh, and the Tassie boys come away with the chocolates. Fins up, fellas. Yes, fellas. Yes,
Oh, oh, well, boys, well, I've failed with Planet's Fiction. We've all been there before. But in all seriousness, <laughs> let's pick the bones out of this game, which we're calling the game of the round, Tasman versus Harbour. Now, I mean, we know that uh, KK's going to have this Harbour team absolutely fizzing at the bit to sort of come down to Tassie, his old team, and try and knock them off their perch, KT. You're an ex-Harbour man yourself. Go pretty well as the underdog, eh? Oh, yeah, no, no, no doubt, you know. I mean, I know Brendan and the boys have been down there with a point to prove and they've got nothing to lose, you know. I mean, um, we'll, we'll see this year how Tasman's been flowing in the, in the team that they got, but um, you look on the other side of that, the flip side, there's some pretty talented blokes in the Harbour team as well. And some young guys coming through which showed their wares their last game. Speaking of talent, two guys that we're going to focus on from both Tassie and uh, North Harbour, and that is Will Jordan and uh, Sean Stevenson. Mm. These two are absolutely electric. Two razzlers, Daggy. Uh, two guys that play at the back, both on the wing or at fullback. You know, Sean Stevenson, he's got some pretty silky skills, doesn't he? Yeah, it's a mouth-watering matchup, isn't it? That's why you come to pay tickets to go and watch these guys just get the ball in hand. You know, Sean Stevenson, he's been doing it for the Chiefs for a long time now. He's doing it for Harbour. And then you got a young guy like Will Jordan. I was very lucky to get front row seats to see him come on leaps and bounds. And the best thing about him is his support play. He just scores tries, Brenner. He just yep. knows where to pop up and, and how to score a dot. He scored eight tries in about three or four games for the Crusaders and got injured, so... Yep. Big future for both of these lads, and um, yeah, very exciting. The, the running metres for both of them, but obviously Sean Stevenson slightly edging him out here, Bryn. Yeah. He's obviously been massive for you guys this year on your kick returns. Oh, he has. Sean's been outstanding for us, and you know, people forget that he's still young. Yeah. You feel, yeah. I feel like he's been around for, for yeah, years, so. um, yeah. but you know, it just shows how much experience he has. Um, but yeah, he's been really potent for us, and you know, we'd love, really like it to continue this week against <laughs> your boys this week. Let's hope not. Let's hope so, not. Nah, look forward to it. He's been awesome for us. <laughs> All right, the t speaking of young talent, KT, and mm. that is the Tasman Locks. We talked to one of them earlier, Quinton Strange, but the other guy, big putty putty. Putty Putty Parkinson. Mm, yeah. This guy is an absolute monster. I think his wingspan's about 2 metres 20. He is just <laughs> huge. But these two guys, I mean, locking stocks are in pretty good um, health in New Zealand rugby when you've got two young guys that I think are 22 and 23 coming through the ranks. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and like you say, taking charge of games. You know, I saw Putty Putty uh, throughout his uh, high school career at St Kent's here and watched him come through the grades. And then this year for the New Zealand Māori, really take it to another level internationally and dominate there and, and tandem with Stranger. You know, like, uh, that's a pretty formidable back row and their line-out's been so awesome this year, guaranteed ball, basically, you know, so... Um, opportunity for uh, Harbour, you know, to try and dissect that and cut it down. <laughs> Love my line-out chat breather. <laughs> <laughs> Very good at it too, Was it convincing? Another guy for the Harbour team that's been going really well, Brent, and, and probably a lot of people at home don't know who he is, and yes. that is Ethan Roots. Now, this guy yeah. has been really impressive for you guys this year, eh? He has. He's been outstanding. A, a guy that's come through the system. Actually didn't play a lot of representative football growing up, but... You know, he's just been a hard worker since the 20 to 21 now, and That's he's good. really starting to understand and been able to get an opportunity. And he's playing great footy, and he have a mouth water and clash against who, whoever you guys put Black Hatter, yeah. Squire, or Tau Four. So yeah. he's looking forward to the challenge. Well, lastly uh, in the round, guys, is the Farrah Palmer Cup, and that's the Wellington Pride versus the County's Heat. Now, mm. we've got a couple of girls that we want to focus on, uh, Stacey, that you can run us through. The first is Emily Kitson. Now, she scored an absolute ripper last week for the uh, for the, Welling uh, the Wellington side, uh, the County side, sorry. Mm. She was a pretty outstanding talent on that wing. And the other girl um, talked to me. Kitson, now she carries this from about halfway. She's got hot feet like uh, probably oh. you do on there. That's the waka That's the waka wax. Hot feet, That's the, the dummy is Kitson feet. <laughs> Kitson feet, not the waka feet. She the waka whack. She's outstanding, eh? She's a young talent coming through and she's definitely made a mark on the Black Ferns coaches out there. I think they'll be watching her very closely. You know, mm. we've got the Women's World Cup here in 2021. Oh. I'm sure she'll be gained. And the last one is Aisha Leti mm. Ainga. Now, I want you to talk me through. Now, this girl, Black Fern, how the hell does she not make the Women's Sevens team as well? She is elite. <laughs> Trick. Yeah, she's, she's powerful, she's strong, look at her go, she's hard to tackle, she just made her debut for the 15s last year and mm. wow, she's just amazing, she's well, really, she's small but she's powerful. Have you been like an outside centre having a girl like that, I mean mm. what does it mean for your back line in terms of defeating the oh, defenders? It's amazing, when you can set your wingers up and they can just score tries all day long, <laughs> you feel like you've done all the money, you know, <laughs> 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 it's good to set them up. <laughs> can, can you, can well, you play, oh, can yeah. you play both, can you play 15s and 7s, I'm unsure, it's generally uh, Yep, yep, case both? by case basis, oh, nice. so it's Very good nice. to cross over. Well, what's exciting, we might see a little bit more of you, is that the Farrah Palmer Cup show is starting this Wednesday, 7 p.m. on oh, Sports. Oh, so how good is that, eh? Nice. Very That'll exciting. be good. Are we going to see
see you on that, hopefully. A little bit more, yeah, you reckon? Yeah, yeah we'll see. Yeah, see. Well, no, you're going to make your comeback soon, eh? Because you're coming back from your yes. with the wrist. Sure am. Can't yeah. wait. Good luck with that. And KT, you're we're saying sayonara to you. Sayonara. You're going to Japan. Daggy, yes. well, you keep wearing that tracksuit, mate, and I hope to see you on the comeback. <laughs> I'm going to Japan we'll too. We'll get the call. We'll get the call. Oh, we'll get the call. Bye now. Bye now. I'll see you down in Nelson, mate. Fins on. Thanks for tuning into the kickoff, and we will see you next week. Bye now. Bye now. Sayonara. <laughs>